Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Be Encouraged. So thankful for you to join me one more week on Be Encouraged. This week's encouragement topic is this, the glory of that cross. Your Heavenly Father wants you to know that the cross that you're carrying, bearing, have been carrying, there's a glory. The glory of that cross. Our scripture reading comes to us this week from the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. From the NIV Bible, it reads thus, and been found in appearance as a man, and he's talking about Christ Jesus, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even the death on a cross. Therefore, God, Yahweh, <laughs> exalted him to the highest place and make him the name that is above every name hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> the glory of that cross jesus set an excellent example of what it means to bear a cross to go through a trial to go through a period of testing, to go through a challenge, and then look at the result. My goodness, because of the cross that Jesus bore for you and for me, for us, his Father, after all he said and done, after he had gone through the trial, the testing, the hardship for things that he didn't even do, he had no sin, he was pure. But he went on that cross for you and for me. He went through what he went through for our redemption. His father glorified him and exalted him above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee will have to bow and every tongue will have to confess that he is Lord and Savior. Brothers and sisters, each of us will go through something. I call it the cross <laughs> that we each must bear in fact the bible tells us that each of us would have to take up our cross and follow him but the good thing is this is that we are given the result of what happened when we go through our cross no one says it would be easy in fact jesus said it's hard <laughs> And that's why we can't bear it. We have to give it to him and rely upon him and rely upon his Holy Spirit living in us to go through whatever that cross is. But the good thing is this, is if we be faithful and if we continue to trust God while we're going through that cross, like Jesus, something glorious will happen. I have never seen anybody who have gone through a challenging and tough time and come out on the other side having regret about what they've gone through, at least in Christendom. Because God allows our struggles, our challenges, our difficulties 
he allows them to bring him glory. Why? Because out of these things, we as his children will strengthen our faith, our trust, our confidence in him. And many times, in fact, all times, if you can look back on what you've gone through and how God took you through, you will see that God brought out the best out of you in that moment. Jesus was exalted above every other name, all because he humbled himself during the most difficult time in his life, the challenges of the cross. He humbled himself. He was obedient to his father and he went through it. And my goodness, it was glorious. The result is glorious. Friends, I know it's not easy when we are going through and carrying that cross. But whatever the cross is this week that you are carrying, that is weighing you down, that is stealing your joy, just reflect on the good that is going to come out of what you're going through and how the glory of that cross will allow you to be a stronger person in your faith. So, rest in God's love. Rest in faith. Rest in his assurance. Speak positively to yourself. Encourage your spirit. Use his promises to encourage your spirit. Remember, my friends, the cross, that cross, there's a glory in it. And if you only persevere to the end, and if you only continue to trust in God, and if you only continue to lean on Him and not on your understanding, guess what? You will see the glory of that cross. So may God bless you this week. Have a wonderful week. And do please join me next week for a brand new video and be encouraged. Cheer up. There's a glory in that cross that you're carrying. May God bless you. Keep the faith and be encouraged.